Casey Hess here at Marathon Coach, and today I'm joined by Eloy Gutierrez, one of our awesome customers here, and we're in his beautiful 2006 Marathon Coach number 981. So, Eloy, tell us a little bit about your coach. Okay, I, uh, I've been in my coach for four years. Uh, I use it, I'm a full timer across the country since I've had it probably 20 times, coach to coast, because I work with an auto racing series, the World of Outlaws, the NOS Energy Drinks. Uh, sprint car series, which is uh, sprint cars. Not everyone is familiar with sprint cars, but anyway, we cross the country four times a year. And uh, as you said, Casey, uh, it's a Coach 981, so it's 16 years old. And I've done a lot of remodeling to it since I bought it. Uh, and most of the work has been done either at Coburg or here in, in Marathon, Florida. And also I had some work done in Marathon, Texas. So I've used all three service centers for uh updates, maintenance, that sort of thing. Even some serious remodeling. Yeah, like you said, I mean, a 2006 walking in here, you'd never guess it was that old. Or would you ever guess it's been around the country that many times? So, yeah, it's, it's held up well. A lot of people, you know, when they see it, they see the outside, they come inside, and they, they actually think it's it's new. And when I tell them it's a 2006, uh, the comment is always, no way. But anyway, I'm very... Uh, pleased and proud of the fact that we've been able to keep it that way and obviously marathons been a big part of that because a used marathon a prevo bus is uh it lends itself to making changes to it more so way more so than a uh, fiberglass coach fiberglass coaches i don't think you can remodel and do the kinds of things that we're able to do with the marathon and it's really unique the way you use a coach. All of our customers use our coach differently, but as Eloy mentioned, he's full-time and he follows a racing circuit, the World of Outlaws, full-time. So how many races a year is that? We typically, our schedule starts out with 90. We have 90 nights of racing. We sometimes lose somewhere to, you know, four or five nights to rain outs. But we, we pretty much get 80 nights of racing in a year, easily. And I know you've had... Other coaches, different uh, different brands and different types of coaches, and done that circuit as well. So, how does the Prevo Marathon handle that strenuous year of work versus your previous coaches? Well, the fact that it's the fact that it's in a Prevo chassis and the Prevo bus, uh, it's built for more miles. It rides com- a lot more comfortable than the others do, and. Uh, it's it's very very easy to drive as big as it is you're driving a big old bus and it but it drives very easily and uh, it's comfortable the other thing about it is the systems in this thing are such that if when they talk about being fully self-contained in this you're really fully self-contained I can go two weeks if my tanks are dumped I can go two weeks with fresh water gray and black t- tanks and uh, have a 20 kW generator. Uh, a lot of the once we start racing, we are in uh, basically dry camping. Very seldom do we have um, full hookups. I mean, every once in a while, I'll be at an RV park and I'll have, have full hookups, but typically not. Wow. And you talked about <clears throat> being full time. So this is truly your home, and you've done a lot of really interesting things, which we'll show the viewers today. Um, but when you bought the coach, you had a different dinette. You had a different uh, entertainment system in your bedroom. So tell us a little bit about your desire to change things and how Marathon Service has been able to accomplish that. The dinette is an example. I had a table and chairs, freestanding chairs. Well, that was functionally okay, but I had seen the bar and stool set up on other coaches, and I really loved that layout. So I worked with Marathon up in Colbert, the designers up there, they they had my bus on their system and i sent them some dimensions and we worked together and they uh they cut the pieces for the bar which you probably shoot a little later and ron here at uh marathon florida assembled it laminated it did the hardware installation and everything and now i have a nice bar with stools and i love it another thing that we did was um in the bedroom I had a 42 inch TV that was on a lift that went up and down in, in the cabinet at the foot of the bed. And I hardly ever opened the blinds on that side of my coach. And I decided 
let's put the biggest TV that we can put in there. <laughs> Basically, I have a theater in my bedroom. Yeah, that is, we'll show everybody. That's amazing, though. I love that setup. Um, you've done a lot of really, really interesting things as a coach, as I mentioned, looks new. And I think you fool most people at the racetrack. They think you're in a brand new coach because of how well this coach is held up and how well it looks. So for those of you considering a pre-owned coach, even if there's something you don't like about it, as Eloy mentioned, he didn't like his, um, dinette setup. So he built a, a nice bar with stools. Um, he didn't like the small TV in the bedroom. So he put a 65 inch <laughs> TV to watch movies and games and, and racing, of course. Yes. Yeah. Well, thanks for letting us come check out your coach, Eloy. And you really use in a unique way. Like I said, we have customers that just weekend or they may winter in their coach. Eloy lives full time in his coach and takes it on a such a fun racing circuit with the world of outlaws. And you really get to see the whole country in this coach. So. That, absolutely. Uh, and I've told you this little story and we'll share it with whoever views the, the video. Uh, people ask me if I uh, miss having a house and I say no. And this is uh, when I do yard work, my idea of doing yard work is sitting in the driver's seat and driving from <laughs> one racetrack to the next. That's yard work. That's great yard work. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Thanks, Elo. Thanks for having us today and uh, safe travels. Thank you. Thank you.